cyclotron objective to understand the working of a cyclotron A cyclotron is a device that is used to accelerate particles such as electrons, protons and deuterons. High speed charged particles are used in experiments of atomic and nuclear physics. In a cyclotron, charged particles are accelerated using electric and magnetic fields that are perpendicular to each other. A cyclotron consists of two D-shaped hollow metal discs, D1 and D2, known as DEs. These two DEs are placed with their plane edges facing each other, separated by a small distance. The two Ds are connected to an oscillating voltage. As a result, the polarity of Ds alter with respect to time. This creates an alternating electric field across them. Besides this, a magnetic field is applied in the region perpendicular to the electric field from top to bottom. The whole arrangement is kept in vacuum chamber. When a positive charge is placed between the Ds, it experiences an electric force F bar equal to QE bar due to which the particle accelerates from D1 to D2. Once the particle is inside D2, it does not experience an electric force as the electric field inside D2 is zero. But due to the magnetic field that exists inside D2, the particle experiences a Lorentz force which compels it to take a circular path of radius R that is equal to mv by qb. The particle then moves with a constant speed. When the particle comes out from D2, polarity of the Ds change. This causes the particle to accelerate from D2 to D1 and enter D1 with a greater speed. From our earlier discussion on Lorentz force, we know that radius of a charged particle inside a magnetic field is directly proportional to its speed. Hence, Particle rotates with an increased radius inside D1. This cycle repeats increasing the speed and radius of the particle after every successive cycle. After many such cycles, a highly energetic particle emerges from the cyclotron at a very high speed.